Tonight, some major improvements could be on the way to a sometimes forgotten area of Padre Island. It's part of a bond program that has already seen significant work either started or about to be started in our city. Green News anchor Mike Gillespie updates us tonight on how one of the items on the list is a place that appears ready for an extreme makeover. Mike. Oh, that's right, Rudy. Last November, Corpus Christi voters approved the bond 2022 program. Now, you may remember that it is a $125 million project that includes various street, library, public safety, and park improvements. Under the park category in bond 2022, 11 different projects were named. The one that came to the forefront this week is the design for Commodore Park out on Padre Island. Right now, it's not much more than a boomerang shaped parcel of land that features a lot of brush, a few trees and a well used basketball court. But it could be more, and that's where the city's Parks and Recreation Department is hoping you can help. As we move forward and as the phases go on, uh, you know, we'll listen to our community and, and, and come up with some funding to, to try to make Commodore's Park uh, you know what, what it needs to be. The city has earmarked $1 million in bond money to come up with a new plan for the park, one that would not only include new recreational amenities, but also the possibility of a community center. Parks and Rec has already added an online survey, which will be up until August 18th. In it, they want to know what would be most likely to attract you and your family. Pickleball, walking trails, a performance space. And if a community center were to be built, should it be a place where you can access city services, maybe have a gym or perhaps provide after school programming? You know, it could be a baseball field. It could be a tennis court. It could be, uh, you know, uh, even there was mentioned today at our, our at our budget workshop, you know, Councilman Suckley mentioned, you know, maybe a splash pad, maybe a pool. It appears that nothing is off the table, at least not yet. Now, we do have a link to that survey we told you about. You can find it in this story on our website. There will also be two opportunities to share your thoughts in person. Both are at the Seashore Middle Academy. The first one happens next Tuesday, and the next one comes up on August 17th. Leslie, Rudy. All right, Mike, thank you so much.